This is our second annual autism walk um, at Emerson. We've got 303 students, and 65 of those students are autistic students in one of seven classrooms. Uh, a year ago, we partnered with Courtesy Chevrolet at that point in time uh, to be able to purchase these uh, communication boards. So this was a low-tech version that got things started, uh, built some some uh, interest around these, and. There are a total of eight of these that are around campus that students can use to communicate their needs on the playground, the cafeteria, and elsewhere. Emerson uh, is one of, if not the largest, it's one of the largest schools in the downtown area that has a program of this size that serves uh, neurotypical students and the general community as well as this large uh, population of autistic students. We're, we've grown from six classrooms to seven this year, we'll be at eight next year, uh, and the program only continues to grow. We have a, a number of students who are limited um, verbal capabilities, limited expressive capabilities, and the touch chat will really allow them to take this concept carry it with them wherever they go on an iPad and, and make it vocal, make it, make it loud so they can interact um, in ways um, that are, it just gives them more access to communicate with other kids, with teachers, etc. Today they're participating in a walk that has seven stations along the way. In each one of those seven stations, they've come up with a creative activity um, to, sh to help kids think more about expressive capabilities, um, sensory needs, neurodiversity, ways that different people experience the world in different ways, um, building perspective, and so you'll see a lot of them using things like uh, emojis. We, you know, we do it on our cell phones so regularly, and they're saying, we're reminding ourselves, like, oh yeah, we actually make real faces too to communicate how we feel about things. Uh, and for autistic students, that's really important to, to know what are you trying to communicate through a facial expression. So that's part of the activities that they're doing today. In addition to having the Phoenix Police Department, who's here, uh, um, and uh, other great example of community involvement, they're here to bring popsicles for the kids, which of course they love. So this year, we again, working with the support of Courtesy Chevrolet, decided to do t-shirt sales. So this is what you're seeing here is t-shirt contest. Uh, 150 kids turned in entries. This was the winning design um, by a student who's in one of our autism classrooms and it was just the most preferred one. So you can see the headphones here and the puzzle pieces. Emerson truly is rocking to a different tune and we're happy to have the support of Courtesy Chevrolet. This was part of our, our goal to raise $10,000. Um, this it was gonna get us close to 5,000 just by the t-shirt sales um, and all of that money is going to go towards the purchase of 20 iPads um, and licenses for touch chat which will basically give voice to the voiceless. We have some, some of the best teachers I think that you'll find anywhere are right here on this campus uh, teaching some of the students that have very high needs but they're so skilled in working with any and all kids. Uh, it's really a great and inspiring place to be. I'm very fortunate to be here.